Hello friends, welcome back to product and brand management. Now I would be taking you towards the strategic perspective of uh, product and the associated decisions. It is an interesting discussion and you would realize at the end of the day that how you should be thinking in terms of as a product strategist. And you see we have been referring to product management as a composite art. We have been building upon you know the terms and the concepts which we have learned. We have, we have talked about planning as such in extensive details, analysis and, and we are continuously building up everything block by block to reach to the strategic understanding and then we will look at the management perspective. And this understanding would take us, take us towards brand management. So, managing brands or managing products as brands, but focused with uh, focused on you know uh, a branding perspective there. So, let us begin our discussion on product strategy and decisions. You see product strategy should address three related questions. Where are we headed? objectives and we have been mentioning about objectives in due course of time planning also we talked about objectives and, and here because strategy is related to execution you see we have a plan composite plan in place here we are we are actually taking it further in terms of implementation execution formulation perspective we have thought of while we were planning Although strategy has a component, component of formulation, but here we would be focusing more on execution and implementation. So, that is why we have to revisit the objectives and that gives us a direction and a time frame. That is the most important element when we are talking of strategy. Although strategy has a long term connotation to it, you see and, and why not? For example, you look at the situation with the perspective of Palaji how long it has been serving us, how long we have been you know liking that product for example. If you look at for example, several insurance products by LIC, you look at several uh, you know products by uh, SBI, State Bank of India or other uh, long lasting banking organizations. So, for which have stayed for, for long long time and uh, have enjoyed a long history. For example, Tata Steels. So, so, strategy fundamentally is a very long term kind of uh, an aspect wherein you visualize the steps you would be following and that is you know that is related to as I said time frame and direction. How will we get there? Now, this addresses issues such as whether to focus on existing versus new customers and we are talking of product strategy here. Or how we would be developing the whole lot of a market in terms of this particular product. You see it is a it is it is a very genuine dream of a product manager that there is a product which sells by itself for a long 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 time. And that is why last discussion I mentioned a product like Borulin, a very effectively placed product it is selling continuously for a number of years and with a very satisfied customer lot. For example, Nivea cream, for example, Kesri Maram I mentioned that last time and Khana Khazana I mentioned you know that uh, uh, TV uh, show you know. So, you see that is that is where is the dream of a product manager and you would have several such kind of products in your view. You would have several products in your own city and I am not talking of you know branding span or those things as, as, of, as of now. You would have specific policies, insurance policies running for n number of years which have been purchased generationally by customers. You have several products by Amul, you have several uh, you know for example, uh, products by Bata, you have several products by consumer goods companies. Which, which have been marketing those for n number of years and one of my favorites is uh, Dabur Dant Manjan. 
you know being sold for n number of years then there is a beautiful product called uh, you know wonderful product like odomos for example vico vajradanti and i can name them you know continuously after all we are talking about product management so you see what will we do specific programs to be employed in order to implement the core strategy so and and this is where we think in terms of you know intermediary time frames we are talking of a long long time we are talking of steps to be taken we are we are talking of specific activities we are we are collating almost everything uh, through the eyes of the plan which we have developed and we are revisiting the plan continuously and now we are talking of you know specific time frames next 2 years next 4 years for example when dainik jagran they started printing their newspaper the kind of technology they were using at this uh, at that moment and now the kind of advanced technologies which they are using and for that matter many other publication houses printing uh, you know newspapers actually publication houses for example book publishers the kind of technology they were using long back and now they are you know what they are doing so in terms of production in terms of product itself you know the the uh, the larger form of the product and so on it's an interesting discussion which you know encompasses so many things and here is a larger picture of strategic alternatives broadly divided into two parts you see long term profits and that is what this this box says long term i want to earn money through this product for long long time and then it is divided into two parts although one says short term but again that is that is a you know complementary thing and when i say short term not too short but but again short specific terms that that can be you know divided into many many terms or shorter terms and whichever way you want to look at it i am not putting up time frames here uh, uh, examples can justify themselves you know when when we talk of time frames in such cases now when you look at you know one of the portions in terms of growth in sales or market share now look at the examples like and i'll try to build up every scenario here with the point of view of examples actually so try to look at you know newspaper for example dainik jagran or let's say in industrial organization of maharatna in india bhel a wonderful organization which is doing exceptionally well in their con- in terms of their contribution in engineering and and specially based you know focused on power and several other contributions you know and then high end devices also so so they are into they have so many divisions and you see once you look in terms of their growth in sales you would look at you know that what kind of product development they have done in due course of time and what kind of market share they have built up all through and what kind of you know readership they have acquired and what kind of industrial scale production bhl has acquired in terms of their you know product specifications and usage at the end of the day in high uh, you know capacity generators they are they are a very large contributor actually and then this further gets divided into further two parts one is market development and market opportunity development when i say market development that means you are actually responsible for developing the complete scenario that is you are actually you know a category puller that means your uh, you know capacities your acumen your intelligence would actually build up the space for your competitors as well many a times but that is what you have to do you have to expand and and one thing which a product manager must remember that they would not be able to reach to all the customers of the world there would be capacity limitations so developing the market and then increasing the you know the uh, i should say depth the the you know uh, enhancing the length of the line and then increasing the width is an intelligent move by that company but still after that also and i'll be talking about these elements later on but after that also competition would still have some space to occupy and it it is not a harmful thing because it will you know keep the industry alive and that is what uh, uh, newspapers like dainik jagran and bhl are doing and then market opportunity 
for you know different kinds of for example if you look at dainik jagran or other newspapers they are media organizations newspaper plus because they are you know gathering content from all the sides so they have different avenues to release that content so that avenue can be one of their radios also that content can be an additional newspaper also that content can be uh, you know a newspaper in a different language also that can that content can be released through a television if they have so so that is where you know market opportunity development in different kinds of spaces can be seen and then uh, we can talk about this with with a different perspective also for example a banking organization can think in terms of microfinance that is again market opportunity development and that microfinance can develop an opportunity for different kind of an enterprise which otherwise would not grow gramin bank bangladesh specifically did that and they created a model which world is following now thanks to uh, professor mohammad yunus so now you see other element parallelly which comes to us is market acceptance and i would i i i always refrain to call it market penetration market penetration to me individually with a disclaimer that i don't doubt the intelligence of people who call it this way but to me it feels like you know pushing the product acceptance is wherein the customer is willing for the product so that is how i differentiate itself that is why i have written slash acceptance now then comes in new segments and targets how to add on customers can there be a product which can be useful for younger children and elders to johnson and johnsons did that there are several products by johnson and johnsons which you know they took forward further to you know from kid space to elder space and and uh, you know and for several kinds of customers so that is precisely you know we are focusing on in in uh, uh, in today's era uh, wherein different uh, and uh, you know we we have been talking about tv shows so different kinds of shows are being produced wherein you know a larger range of audience is targeted and there are automotives honda activa is one of my favorite examples wherein age group starting from the as soon as they are eligible to ride you know an automotive from starting from that stage to elderly stage up till the stage where they can comfortably ride so all the age groups all the genders they are included in their uh, target segment and which is which is a very good deal so and you see on the other side existing customers how to retain existing customers how to motivate them for repeated purchase that is again a very important thing and you would realize that you know i have been naming so many products for example tata salt for example lipton tea for example you see you can put up several kinds of customers who are loyal satisfied and they go for repeated continued sales uh, or purchase should i say so and then uh, just just go to a departmental store now and do this exercise in one or one or two days after watching this video and and just look at several products which are there forever and then think of that which products you have been purchasing repeatedly and you have stopped giving yourself a reason to purchase those products that is what we are referring to and then you go for you know uh, the the next stage of convert non users people who have not been thinking in terms of reading newspapers for example uh then a newspaper a wonderful product uh, like i next comes in wherein i uh, you know uh, uh, uh i can think of uh, you know how did they conceive that and and incidentally uh, you know uh, i was told Uh, by one of their senior most executives or or uh, one of those people who was actually at the hem of their affairs in conceiving that product you see so one of the uh, founders and propounders of that product so he a very intelligent marketer a very eminent personality he himself told me once that you know that once he was thinking about that there is a there is a reader segment which is available between a particular time period of a day 
and and this reader segment likes to talk in a bilingual mode that is their own local language especially it is targeted towards people who talk in hindi and english mix and and you know they have uh, you know this this kind of uh, tendency towards particular kind of a news they want to look at almost every news item but still focusing on particular kind of news so keeping that reader in mind they conceived he conceived along with other uh, you know uh, partners in his organization or members of the organization uh, with the definitely you know a good support from the leadership so he conceived this newspaper named it i next and printed it published it and it's a success story so bhl also you know their senior management was one once talking about you know what kind of futuristic products they are looking for they are coming up with wonderful products and you would soon see those products evident in almost every city such kind of products are being brought i cannot reveal that as of now then comes in competitors customers because you are talking of non users but you are still focusing on pulling the competition uh, you know pulling their customers from the competition attracting them towards your product giving them comparison the benefits and so on and lastly which is actually the segment which we would be focusing upon next is diversification and the session which we would be focusing upon next is new product development you see ultimately you come to a stage wherein you realize okay existing life cycle is doing well in terms of the the existing product or let's say you know everything is going on fine let me develop a new life cycle for a newer product new product development so it's a whole lot of a process which requires lots of insights and i'll be talking about that sequentially in times to come diversification wherein different you know you you go for a varied types of products focusing upon similar customers many a times different customers as well but having a universal brand connotation about you many a times so and and many a times without that as well we will be talking about that in branding but diversification is wherein you are traversing towards different kinds of customers with different products actually now coming to the uh, the other side wherein you know uh, efficiency starting from long term profits or perspective efficiency short run profits you know or should i say opportunity based oblique event based you know segment for example britannia khao world cup job now wonderful campaign by britannia wherein you know they focused upon uh, an event for short run gains and they capitalized upon that they devised the complete product strategy around that they they devised almost all the elements of marketing mix around that and they went all in for that you see here there are two uh, you know parallel aspects one goes through decreasing the inputs that is going for the basic product reducing the cost and improving the asset utilization maximizing the profit reduction of the cost and convincing the customer that this is this level of product is fine it's wonderful and on the other side you have to increase the output that is go for larger production but for that either you have to innovate upon your marketing proposition or product as such product innovation is not a short term thing so marketing proposition innovation is largely focused upon that you may say that you know slightly improved aspects related to features many a times or positioning of the product you can't change it you can't reposition it but you can put up a newer perspective to it and then comes in you know improving the sales mix the modes through which you are reaching to the customer in terms of your sales exercise and efforts so these are largely the strategic alternatives which we are trying to focus upon here now i'll be taking you towards selection of strategic alternatives you see enumerating those selecting those but there should be a basis of selection of strategic alternatives and let's uh, structure this in the form of a matrix 
Igor Ansoff has contributed a lot as far as marketing literature goes, a very eminent thinker and a philosopher of uh, you know past many many decades. So, you see uh, he gave growth vector matrix. You see product strategies can further be explained through this matrix and product market growth matrix or Ansoff matrix which is you know uh, called usually is a strategic planning tool which was developed in 1957 by Igor Ansoff to help firms recognize if there was any advantage to entering a market. And I have quoted an example of a new program or a new course for example you know, at master's level or a, or a bachelor's level and I will be carrying forward this uh, you know example later on when I would be deciphering uh, you know the quadrants of this matrix wherein you see one on horizontal you have product, vertical you have market and then both ways you have existing and new and existing and new. For example, product is existing and market is also existing then you have to focus upon market acceptance more. So, you may and here I would uh, remind you of looking at the life cycle situation and positioning once again because that has to be done in consonance with the positioning and life cycle situation. Now, if it is a matured you know situation and then you cannot go for aggressive advertising at that moment. So, you have to increase your sales efforts that is what we are talking of at this particular moment and we will be using examples later on to decipher these things. So, and if you have existing market and a new product. So, product development you know in the sense of product development and market development go hand in hand in consonance with each other focusing on the product development as such. So, so you have to think in terms of you know existing customer with a newer kind of a product an alternative a substitute. Then comes in you know a new market and an existing product. So, there comes in market development and opportunity development which I have been referring to and this you know is you know both these elements of existing product existing market and existing product and new market comes under largely if you look at they, they would be focusing upon process innovation uh, at length although this can be discussed in, in with, with convergent or divergent views as well. But here in this quadrant wherein market is new and the product is existing market development has to be done that means you have to reach to the customers with the proposition so that it can be further developed as their habit as their you know in terms of their usage and whatever. And then you know last wherein market is new, product is new you have lots of scope for diversification and opportunity development as such market related opportunities that means you bring in newer product to a newer market with a newer kind of a perspective and here both these elements wherein new product existing market new product new market you know that comes under product innovation largely. So, that is where the metric situation is it 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 tells many things by itself I will be deciphering this for a short while you know in, in uh, you know uh, few minutes uh, from now. Now, let let me take you through different stages for example. Now, you see market development strategies we have been focusing upon uh, the, the discussion under you know a matrix kind of a situation. So, let us look at market development strategies. See these strategies are aimed at non customers of the product that is customer acquisition wherein you have to pursue non users in segments already targeted or different segments many a time different target altogether. For example, medical insurance. So, there have been different reasons for people to get medically insured, but people in good age and good health were always you know averse. So, there, there could have been ways wherein you have been motivating organizations to motivate their employees. But motivating a direct directly a, a customer you know. So, there you have to focus in terms of developing that customers acumen or perspective around that 
you know I should not say acumen but perspective around that product. Developing segments previously ignored by the product category I should not say ignored overlooked you may say example of market development strategies can be and there are beautiful examples Asian paints after analyzing the issues pertaining to the use of tuna in houses lime introduced utsav to pursue non users in rural market now you see this is a uh, this is a product which can be it's it's a cost effective product low price product which can be used by rural people to paint their houses effectively other than you know usage of lime which is not so durable on walls and i remember of uh, you know uh, uh, i'm remembered of uh, one one another example wherein a cement organization developed a uh, semi solid paste of cement which can be you know mixed with little water and can be pasted on the floor of the houses you see in india and many parts of the world rural areas people traditionally used to paste their floors with cow dung paste to to give you know it the clean look and so that it can be sturdy for a while so so and it it cannot be you know it uh, to avoid dust actually so and this cement company actually prepared a paste which can be you know pasted and let it you know th then you can let it dry for a while and then it is as good as a cement floor definitely with a lesser life but the price is much less and equal to the effort and the cost you would bear for you know bringing in cow dung and then pasting it and then doing that exercise it's very easy and at low cost so you see that is where market development strategies they come in why should a large cement manufacturing organization uh, think about this to develop the market as such then starbucks you know step beyond selling their coffee beans into only coffee stores now they sell them at grocery stores to for non coffee store goers as such and then you can think of i said i would be talking about a, a course and a program for example mba program to engineers see mba program to senior executives mba program for business leaders so that is where you know newer market development strategies can be thought of as far as now i'll be talking about product development at length but just to give you a very brief aspect here for example when you talk of a new product and with management perspective there can be a wonderful course which iit roorkee is running under department of design as of now masters in innovation management for example it's such a two years program a wonderful program you know so and then not entirely new can be a newer you know special mba program oriented towards let's say mba with artificial intelligence perspective so that that can be a newer kind of a thing according in accordance with the contemporary usage of artificial intelligence which is prevalent and then new usage now that can be varied for example mba for homemakers you see that can be a beautiful program spaced for 4 5 years and that can have a very innovative content in local language with story books with examples from their side and you see giving them a perspective that they can be managers they are already are and putting up the whole lot of an element of that core structure around a program for you know and i remember one organization which introduced a very short course for uh, uh you know uh, for females who are rural entrepreneurs they do not have formal education they are educated to an extent they are they don't have formal degree based qualifications but this organization structured a management program for them so you see that is where product development strategies can be thought of when we are we are talking of you know uh, the the matrix based imagination in terms of strategic product strategy development altogether so i'll leave you here with this thought i'll be coming back with two other quadrants and several other insights in my later discussions till then goodbye